Hi guys, welcome to Solar Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today we're going to be doing a real short video on how you can add any battery. That's any LifePo battery. I happen to have this lead time here. It's a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. But I also have many other brands of batteries. The brand doesn't matter. The size doesn't matter. It could be a 20 amp hour battery. It could be a 200 amp hour battery. Doesn't matter. You can add it to your existing or power station. Please subscribe. So I happen to have, as you know, the EcoFlow Delta Deuce. And if I want to add an extra battery, I have to spend another five or 600 bucks to buy their battery so that I can link them together and use them. But I'm gonna show you right now, it's real simple. All you need is a cable. This happens to be a three footer that I purchased on Amazon. I normally make my own cables, but I wanted to show you how cheap and easy it was. There will be a link in the description, although I'm not an affiliate and I don't make a dime. You can make these yourself. My inlet on the back of my power station uses an XT60 connection. You can buy these connections. You can buy them in the form of pigtails like this. All you have to do is add yourself some ring connectors to the end. Now I bought this one again prefabbed. It was less than 10 bucks. But the link will be down below in case you're looking for it. Let me show you how easy this is. This is my battery. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Very simple, very easy. Anyone that's ever used lithium phosphate batteries, life pro batteries, you know that they come with these bolts that go in. Make sure that you put the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive. Just going to screw that down so it's good and tight. We're going to put the positive on the other side. We're going to tighten her down. Make sure we're tight. Put your cappies back on. I like these little caps and I hope I never lose them, but I most likely will. Now what I have is my cable, my XT60 cable connected to my extra battery. This battery happens to be mostly full. And here is my Echo Flow Delta and I have been using it. It powers my office. So right now it is at if you can see that 39% state of charge. Now all I'm going to do on the back of this unit where you would plug in your solar panel cable or your 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter in your car you would take this same XT and just plug it in, plug it in you don't have to do anything else to it. It takes a second to get started. And hopefully you can see that. Right now I'm bringing in 104 as my input. That's the top number. And I'm putting out zero because this isn't connected to anything. I'm bringing in 104 watts. Now there's a reason for that. And that reason is because your average LifePo battery, the older styles, has a 100 watt output max in the BMS, the battery management system. That's what BMS stands for. If you check the stats on a LifePo battery before you buy it, you can buy one that puts out 200 watts. That's how fast they'll put it out. So this particular battery that I have here, my LifePo battery, will put out 100 watts at a time this is a, a 1200 watt unit so it will take 12 hours to transfer the power from my LifePo battery to my power station but it's just that easy you can do it with a cable now people have asked why in the world wouldn't you just use an inverter okay use the inverter attached to your LifePo battery as normal then plug the charging unit from your power station right into the inverter you can do that, absolutely, and it will do faster. It'll do somewhere between three and 400 watts. So you could take all the power out of your LifePo extension battery, put it into your power station in three to four hours. But you will lose some in the exchange. The inverter itself needs power to be working. 
So you'll lose anywhere from 10 to 20% on that. If you're in a hurry, you can absolutely do that. And if you're not in a hurry, all you need is this $10 cable and you have extended your power station with an extra battery. So I hope this video helped somebody. If it did, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls. And I'll see you next Solar Sunday.